on top right triangle. And the little subheading on the bottom is area of triangles. And in big, ginormous letters, I want you to write this down. The area of a triangle equals one half base times height. Now usually we abbreviate it so that it looks like this. Area, we put a little T there, so it's a triangle. One half base height. This, God bless you, is something you need and should have submitted to your memory. I will tell you, beyond the shadow of a doubt, where people go wrong very, very often is they forget that it's one half base times the height. One half base times the height. So you need to make sure you get it in your head that that's what it is, one half base times height. Now, in math, in math, a very, very important concept is, notice how this doesn't say one half length times width. Okay, it is not one half length times width, it's one half base times height. And that is because in math, when math people use base and height as those things you're multiplying together, those two things, they must form a right angle with each other. They must form a right angle. The base and the height have to form a right angle. So I am going to draw a triangle here. And let's say this triangle is 10 inches here, and it is 8 inches there. And I know that the area is 1 half base times the height. What is the area of that triangle? <coughs> what is the area of that triangle? Oh man, I should have done that on the bottom side. Ronnie. 80 inches. Wow. So is the formula not one half base times height? What is the area of that triangle? Ephraim? 40 inches. Mm, incorrect. Olivia? 20 inches. Incorrect. Ethan? 160? Incorrect. <laughs> Sam? Um, mm, thank you. Sam finally catches on after doing what I do this to every time we do this sort of thing here. You cannot tell me what the area of that triangle is because I didn't give you the basic information. Remember, I just two seconds ago said that to do this, you have to have the base and the height, and they have to form right angles. There is no right angles here. Yeah, you don't know what the base and the height are. You might be able to, had I drawn a little right into whatever there may be. In triangles like this, the book will have to give you some more information. They will have to, a lot of times they will draw a dashed line, and they will make a little square corner, and they're telling you that that's a right angle, and then they will give you that dimension there. Now, when you see this triangle, you say, well, what two lines form the right angle? That would be this one and this one. By the way, you'll draw this triangle with all its dimensions. You'll write down the formula. Then you will plug in the numbers. Area is 1 half. What is the base and the height? 6 and 10. So I multiply. You can take 
Nice thing about multiplication is you can do this any way you want. You want to take half of 6 and get 3, and 3 times 10 is 30, that's fine. You want to take 1 half of 10 and get 5. 5 times 6 is 30. If you want to take 6 times 10 and get 60 times then half, that's 30. Either way you slice it, you end up with 30 inches squared. 30 inches squared, because it's 1 half the base times the height. Now we've got that out of the way. Let's look at another one. How about this one? Um, one, two, three. Uh, let's do this six inches, eight inches, and twelve inches. The area of that triangle would be. What's that? Ephraim? Thank you. Finally, finally, we caught on a very quick net. Again, there are no right angles there, so you can't find the area as it is. The book will have to do something, and it'll look like this. They'll extend this out, and then they'll bring a line straight down like this. You will look for that little square corner thing, because they will give you that. And then maybe they'll say that this is 4 inches. Okay, so you draw the triangle, you write the formula, area equals 1 half base times height. What are the base and the height of this triangle? What two lines form at the right angle? Olivia? Six and four. Six and four. Don't worry about this little piece here. It doesn't matter that you're extended, but it's still six times four. So area equals one half six times four. And what is half of 24? 12 inches squared. However, there will be some times where they don't have to give you a line because it is a right triangle. If the triangle is already right, then you probably will be given the, the needed information here. Let's say this is 11 and this is 10. That's all the information you need to know because these two lines form the right angle. Area equals 1 half base times height. Anybody 1 half of 10 times 11? Uh, half of 10 is 55. 5 times 11 is 55. So 55 inches squared. Or maybe they'll have the triangle and it'll be turned like this. A lot of times when we hear the word base, we always think it's the bottom number. That's not necessarily the case. If you have a triangle that looks like this, let's say this is 8 and that's 9, and this is 11. What two numbers am I going to put in my formula for the area of a triangle? The two that form the right angle are 8 and 9. Area equals 1 half of 8 times 9. And again, I need to see all of this when you do your work. Don't just give me an answer. I need the formula. I need the picture of the triangle. I need to know. What is half of 8 times 9? So make sure you label these as inches squared or whatever it is, units squared. Do you think we have a handle on the area of the triangle thing? Yes. I don't know about that. I will tell you that children continue, no matter how 